Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Exploring Game Pass. I'm Raising the Roof, and today we're going to be looking at the game Homestead Arcana. Uh, I did already create my character just to kind of get that sorted out, uh, just to save us a little bit of time. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Uh, it kind of looks like one of those farm lifestyle type games, so I'm kind of looking very forward to it. There we go. Where am I going? Tuck to Huckleberry? Oh, bottom of the hill. Ah, okay, so I will have to. Oh, it's just press shift. You don't have to hold shift. Okay. All right, let's find out where Huckleberry is. I'm going to guess in this little circle of... Oh, it's going to give me a cutscene. Nice little music to go. Is this guy Huckleberry? And there it is, the Dust Eater. That means we've reached our spot. Yep. This place is hardly changed. Well, except for all that miasma. You didn't notice? Trust me, all that purple gas didn't used to be so high up. Ah. But what can you do? Anyway, Councilman Narrows has given me the honor of overseeing your initiation rites. Normally, he'd be running it, of course, but I've only been back for a week, you know? I wanted to see for myself how much you've improved since I last saw you. So the first right is to establish a home. After all, you can't be a homesteader without a home. Unfortunately, you'll need to start off with a tent. Not the most sturdy of structures, but eh, gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Well, let's find out. Sorry to shoot tent for the Homestead Arcana program. Simple shelter is the first step. Okay, press tab. We have a tent. E to build, eh? Yeah, that'll keep the elements out. Okay. Probably. Maybe. I like it when they have voice actors. You'll get the materials to build a proper house before long. Just like your Aunt Matilda did. Oh. Now, the second right demonstrates your botany know-how. You'll need to plant a seedling and then make it grow. We'll start with a little rock favorite. Corn. Corny. Where can I plant this thing? Too far from garden. Where's the garden? Just the garden? No? Well, where's my garden? Ah, right there's the garden. All right. Now I want to see you cast a watering spell. Okay. Press 1. Ah, okay. Help it grow, at least a little. Of course, channeling is much more effective. You do know how to channel, right? 
Stop pulling my tail. I've seen you channel before. <sighs> Channeling is that thing you do where you pull mana from the earth and guide it through the plant, making it instantly grow. You know, channeling. Now stop making me look like a fool and show me you can channel. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, okay. This makes more sense. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Beautiful. Imagine if you couldn't channel, huh? Your plants would take forever to grow. Of Clearly, course, you don't want to overdo it and blight the poor thing. All things in moderation, right? The okay. The ride is complete, and now time for the third. You'll prove yourself as a witch by building a cauldron and then brewing spell potions. Now I okay. can't just give you a cauldron. That's part of the witching test. But. Technically, a workbench doesn't have anything to do with being a witch, right? I think I want to exit this. Well, where do you want me to build this? Oh, just anywhere? Yep. I don't mean the nag, but are you sure that's the best place for it? Try moving it to a better spot. That's a good spot for it either. No matter. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was supposed to do there. The foundation. Lavender for purification and metal for the well, cauldron. You can get some Go of those things in the meadow to the north, but that's blocked off. Okay. A basic cauldron. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Very nice. All that needs next brings me to the third right. Potion making. With what you currently got, you'd only be able to make a ripple potion. But that's all right. Ripple is plenty useful. Okay. Oh, right. You need silver. Before you ask, I do have some on me, but uh, these will be the last of the handouts. Okay. There you go. A ripple. Eight seconds, so we'll give our eight seconds here. Highlights items, creatures, and sight ranges. Oh, okay. People are always losing things, right? And Ripple is great for finding stuff, so this will be a bestseller for sure. Anywho. You've just completed the initiation rites, so you're now officially a part of the Homestead Arcana program. Congratulations. Arcana. Oh, okay. Your reward lies in... in... Oh, no. But you have to 
understand the miasma tides are unpredictable. When I hit it a week ago, the border was a good ten yards away. Oh boy. What I'm saying is, I think your prize is in the miasma. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, it's not good at all. I was hoping it wasn't going to come to this. Well, not so soon, anyway. When you're ready, meet me by the border and listen to my instructions, okay? Okay. you walk through that veil you're gonna be breathing miasma and you're really gonna feel it in your lungs that's why it's important that you find the reward as soon as possible it's in a crate not too far from here but it might be hard to see it drinking a ripple potion will enchant your sight and help you see better uh -huh. Come on, give it a sip okay Too far from the entrance. All right. Used to clear pathways blocked by pink porous crystal. Oh. Like I lost a health potion. You okay? Are you dizzy? How's your breath? Your blood pressure? Are you sure? Maybe it's some miasma talking. Either way, we need to get you some food. All right, let's go. The box had blasting powder, right? You should be able to use it to destroy the pink stone that's blocking the path up north. Over okay. There, we should be able to get you a quick bite to eat. You lead the way. Come on, let's go. This is really cute to start. I like Huckle. <laughs> or Huckleberry. See, now there's wild plants everywhere. You bet you could even find a bush of metal. Oh. Find an apple. Ah, right there. Oh, a crab apple. Give it a bite. Okay. Uh, consume. There you go. You should keep looking around here, by the way. Lots of wood, metal, various herbs and spices. 
Now, I understand that you might want to explore the miasma some more, but there are other things you can be doing. For like. example, Abraham should be coming back any time now. And when he does, he'll have useful things to buy. And, oh, I think you have mail. You should always be checking your mail. Never know what's going to be in there. All right, then. Open a parcel bird. Where's the parcel bird? Oh, no. Oh. Piece of plant growth. That seems like a good thing. Okay, let's go see if we can find the parcel beard. So that's unavailable. Nice, okay. There we go. Open mail. Delivery of supplemental goods is required by the Little Rock Council. Uh, occasions may arise where a shortage occurs as there's a delicate balance of crops, potion materials, and other supplies. Under such circumstances, we'll pay double for the completion. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, we completed the initiation rates. So proud of you without folks like you joining the homestead. Yep, always check your mail and your pack, and um, make sure to take advantage when Abraham's here so you can sell your produce for silver. Wait, I, I already said that, didn't I? Mm, I don't know. Look, I know you want to go back into the miasma. Just remember when you're in there that the town still needs you. When you want to go back in there, talk to me. I'll give you a device that'll help you breathe easier. Okay. Ooh. Cool. I'm going to sleep a little bit. To you. Morning. Glad to see you're still alive. Hope the mail bird's been working all right for you. Yeah. Yep. I expect me to come around this time every morning. I'll have an assortment of goods to sell. And I bet you'll have goods you'll want to sell me. I only take a small cut, of course. Most of this will go straight back to Little Rock. Or to town council, anyway. Okay. Also, between you and me, your ma asked me to keep an eye on you. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I thought that's what the cat's there for. Ah, but don't you worry. I won't say a thing if you misbehave. I'm not a little kid anymore. Interesting. Morning. Shop time. Hmm. 
I think we're good. Wait. Morning. What do you got? Interesting. Okay. Ah, there's down here and around. Okay. I can't remember where he went to. But yeah, there he is. This is a mask for protection. It won't stop the poison from reaching your lungs, but it'll slow it down. Tilly, your Aunt Matilda, found it years ago during one of our expeditions. Again, it's not going to make you invincible. And it definitely won't protect you from the wildlife out there. But it's better than nothing. Interesting. Anyway, if you're insisting on going out into the miasma, you might as well try and find something useful, I guess. Tilly's old homestead isn't far from here. Maybe you can find her grill. That way you don't have to keep eating raw apples and corn. <laughs> Acquired the mask. Ah, we got a filter. Ooh, cutscene. Oh. Seems like the Black Plague. Okay, so if I die, it sounds like everything should come back over here. Birchburg. Fruits I haven't seen in ages, usable silver and linen. A pure island. Never heard of it. And they seem to appear. Okay. A tomato seedling. Well, this trip seems to be very most helpful. Another stash. What's in here? Stock. And some wood. I feel like I'm have to gonna have to clean that stuff up because Fielding Gilbert. Uh, examine the effects of mia miasma spread and corruption have yielded critical results. This requires concocting a fertilizer that is poured with into a miasma scar, wherein the inner dust eater burrows into the infected earth and absorbs the miasma. Uh, the roots double as a structure for the Terran wound and seal the pocket from lethal mi miasma bursts. While monumental in the academy's campaign to eliminate the miasma, the Fielding Gilbert method is... And that's all we know. 
I hope there's another journal. Tilly, I'm so sorry. Sorry, so many moons have passed since my last letter, sis. I had my hands full with the kids. Uh, I know you always wanted me to come with you, but you have to understand that we all have different callings in life, and mine's looking after these children. I'm sure Huckleberry is treating you well. Interesting. Is this a letter from your pops? I was wondering the same thing. So this is as far as I can go. What did I miss? Ah, there's her homestead. Went the wrong way. That's what happened. Cotton. Uh, you likely need wood, metal, and maybe an onion. To season the pot. You also notice a jar with a note on it. Do you remember has the means to continue my work? I discovered a way to expedite dust eater growth. Uh, combined with the fielding Gilbert method, there's a tangible hope of fighting back the miasma. Take the specialized fertilizer and pour down the offending miasma scar. Within seconds, a dust eater should bloom and seal the earth's wounds. This world wasn't always like this. We can still heal our land. The note really built up this jar. You wonder if Huckleberry knows something about it. And if he'll willingly reveal anything. I think that's all. Just please. journal. Sun blessed my return from the miasma today. Though my journey wasn't selling, the cloud around me stirred, but nothing was visible through the dense fogs. My eyes haven't seen Huck all day. I sure hope he knows his way back. Huck finally returned to camp. The hoppers and got a little sidetracked. That's camp. Uh, remnants of the academy studies in combating miasma spread and mentions of eradicating it permanently. Uh, bless the sun I made it to the miasma alive today. I was looking for looking for scars close to find one, I'm pretty sure. Perhaps that's why what happened happened. Stool recipe.
Okay. I'm gonna quickly try this. It says I'm missing something, but I think I might have gotten it. Nope, still missing the item. Okay, let's head back. Because I see I only have it. Yeah. So that's the end of that mask and filter. <gasps> oh, interesting. Very interesting. So did I, ah. Oh. You're back. Do you have the grill? I do. the location, the age of the tree, or what. But it didn't seem to do anything. And she died before we could do any more tests. You're still welcome to try, of course. Just don't get your hopes up. Alright, bud? Okay. This fertilizer uniquely affects miasma scars. So what do I need to do? So that must be a dust eater. Okay, um, apply the fertilizer. I guess we're gonna go back in. That's the wrong way. Oh, I got mail. Uh, it's principal clerk. Let's go back and uh, put this thing in. See if they let me. Oh good, I got another four minute filter. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried there. Let's 
Let's apply. Maybe I just have the magic touch. Dust Eater has sprouted. Slightly less. Not sure. Perhaps Huckleberry might know more. Yeah, it definitely is less, that's for sure. And I can go over here now. Ah, okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wait. All right, let's see what Huck has to say. Oh, I know what it is. There we go. Okay, where'd you go, Huck? There you are. So a dust eater sprouted from the ground and a wall of them. Well, that must mean the miasma got a little weaker, right? I would imagine so. We just need to make more of this stuff. You still have the jar, don't you? I bet you have enough fertilizer left over. You probably just need to add a little filler. For this level of miasma, I think cotton will be fine. Just liquefy it in the cauldron and pour it into the same jar. That should do it. What I'm more worried about is the filter in that mask. It's pretty old by now. I doubt you'll get very deep in its current state. Yeah, not really. Just keep an eye out if you find a way to improve your mask. All right. Probably. Oh, Ooh, tomato. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. There you go. Okay, we're gonna water that one. We'll just water this one. Okay, we'll let those two water each other. Uh... And then the cauldron I can make. I need a cotton ball. Okay. Well, it seems like we got a bunch of foraging and stuff to do. So, uh, 
worldly. How's it going? Nothing. All right. Uh, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, this is a really fun game. I um, really enjoyed it. Again, this was Homestead Arcana. Uh, if you like this video, like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this series. Uh, yeah, it seems Homestead Arcana is just one of those farm lifestyle sims, just like Stardew Valley or uh, Harvest Moon. Those are the two biggest ones. There's lots more now out there. Uh, uh, my time at Portia, uh, that's another probably good comparison. So, yeah. So, yeah. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more and like this video. So, I will see you all in the next episode.